हाई गाइज वेलकम टू केरियर एक्टर योर ड्रीम इज आवर पेशन होप सो कि आप सब अच्छे होंगे और आज uh, इसके साथ हम आज चालू करते हैं आज की वीडियो सी डब्ल्यू सी जे डी ए एंड एफ सी आई असिस्टेंट ग्रेड थ्री टेक्निकल के लिए आपके प्रोफेशनल नॉलेज में सीरीज uh, uh, जो कल भी अपलोड किया था मैंने तो आज भी अब लोग अपलोड कर रहे हैं इसको तो uh, आज रहेगा एम सी क्यू फॉर जूलूसी सेक्शन ओके टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मिक्सड क्वेश्चन ऑफ जूलूसी टेस्ट योर सेल्फ गाइज कि आपके प्रिपरेशन कैसे चल रही है और आप क्या क्या चीज़ों में और ध्यान देना है आप देखिए वीडियो को और ओके और सेशन को अच्छा लगे तो ज़रूर लाइक करिएगा ठीक है तो आज आज का पहला क्वेश्चन क्या है देखते विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्राम एंटीबायोटिक सो ऑप्शंस आर ए एम्फीसिलिन पेनीसिलिन या क्लेरिथ्रोमाइसिन या पेरिसिटामॉल सो योर सो इसका आंसर क्या होगा तो वट विल बी द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन तो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट बेसिकली एंटीबायोटिक एंटीबायोटिक्स आर बीन डिवाइडेड इन टू द नेरो स्पेक्ट्रम एंड अनदर वन दे हैव बीन सब क्लास इन टू द ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम ओके सो ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम एंटीबायोटिक एल्सो ऑल्सो also we have with the narrow spectrum antibiotic in case of the broad spectrum antibiotic what they are do what they basically do they basically acts on the gram positive and gram negative bacteria so they have a broader um, broader action okay so they acts upon on the gram positive as well as in the gram negative but in case of a narrow spectrum antibiotic they are specifically uh, the specific group of bacteria they will attack to the specific group of bacteria are you getting me so they they have a smaller range of action so that's why we termed as the, uh, them as a narrow spectrum antibiotic okay so for example you have to know the broad spectrum and narrow spectrum both example so if i speak uh, broad spectrum for example mp amphicillin amoxicillin and tetracycline chloramphenicol these are the example most commonly used um, antibiotic and which are comes under the category of broad spectrum in case of your narrow spectrum you have a azithromycin clarithromycin okay so these are the most common example azithromycin and clarithromycin they comes under the category of the narrow spectrum antibiotic okay to yahan pe jo question pucha gaya they are asking about the broad spectrum antibiotic and you know the broad spectrum antibiotic am amphicillin amoxicillin tetracycline and chloramphenicol and we have a option of amphicillin so answer to this question will be option number a amphicillin ठीक है यहां तक बिल्कुल समझ में आया होगा ठीक है तो लेट्स मूव इन टू दिन टू दस्ट क्वेश्चन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या है इन ह्यूमन बींग्स कितनी डिजॉर्डर इज कॉज बाई द पॉल्यूटेंट इनमें से कौन से एलिमेंट्स के वजह से किडनी डिजॉर्डर होता है एंड बेसिकली किडनी डिजॉर्डर ब्रिंग बाई दी एलिमेंट सो कैडमियम इज वन ऑफ दैम तो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी कैडमियम सी डी नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन द थर्ड क्वेश्चन पीच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ब्लड ग्रुप्स मे बी प्रेजेंट इन द चिल्ड्रेन ऑफ ए कपल हैविंग द ब्लड ग्रुप्स ए एंड बी रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ ए कपल हैज इफ ए कपल हैज द ब्लड ग्रुप ऑफ ए एंड बी रिस्पेक्टिवली देन वट विल बी द ब्लड ग्रुप ऑफ इट्स चिल्ड्रेन सो यू हैव टू आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो If a person is having A and the family is having B, then you have a combination that maybe A or B may come, or the you have the A B and the, the uh, by ma making the both the combination A B you may get or O. So you will be having A B A B and O both are possible. So all these are possible. A B O and A B will be your correct option. Okay. Moving on to the next question, who amongst the following was awarded the Nobel Prize for path-breaking contribution to develop treatment against the parkinson's disease now you have to understand here the meaning of the question the answer uh, the question mean then name the scientist who has been awarded the nobel prize for his contribution for the developing the treatment against the parkinson's disease now first you have to understand this parkinson's disease what is the meaning of this parkinson's disease now this um, basically affects the nerve cells in the um, brain that produces the dopamine so in this uh, this is they affects the nerve cells what they are affecting they are affecting the nerve cells which are present in the brain and they are basically responsible for producing the dopamine and in case of your parkinson's disease they affects the movement of our body they make our body stiff 
so our movement becomes slow you are getting the movement of the body became uh, becomes the slow so in the parkinson's disease so this the first scientist who discovered the treatment for that and also the path path breaking contribution to develop the treatment against the parkinson's disease is none other than arbit carlson so answer to this question is option number b now uh, moving on to the fifth question uh amino synthesis is a method of amino synthesis jo ek method hai ye basically hai kya this is basically the determination the health condition of the fetus fetus ka jo health ka condition hai usko janne ke liye hum amino synthesis karte hain and this is a method of knowing the determination of the fetus moving on to the sixth question guys the thermoregulatory center of the body this is a question basically taken from the brain okay so you know that uh, thermoregulatory center of the body you know this our body has a different uh, organs or uh, the parts which are responsible for the muscle coordination thermoregulation pain vision so they are all been coordinated in the brain okay so you have to name the part of the brain where the thermoregulatory center of the body is so the control of the thermoregulatory center of the body is under that hypothalamus the answer to this question is option number b hypothalamus moving on to the seventh question the autonomic nervous system the autonomic nervous system controls you have know the peripheral nervous system we have a central nervous system they are asking that autonomic nervous system controls what so they basically they controls the activity of the visceral organs like the heart lungs kidney so the activity of the visceral organs balance of the muscle coordination is the function of which of the following basically maintains the uh, balance of the muscular coordination so muscular coordination is under the uh, cerebellum okay the cerebellum uh, basically maintains the equilibrium in our body and they basically um, responsible for the posture also they are basically responsible for the posture and equilibrium in our body equilibrium also okay and they are also responsible for the muscle coordination the answer to this question will be option number a pacemaker of the heart what uh, uh, which of which of the node or the septum is known as the pacemaker of the heart you know that sa node which is present in the heart is sa node sino auricular node is known as the pacemaker of the heart hamburger's phenomenon is called as now you have to know the hamburger phenomenon basically hamburger's phenomenon occurs in the um basically occurs in the heart okay so that's a bicarbonate and the chloride ion uh, exchange so we call it as a chloride shift also so basically bicarbonate and the chloride uh, chloride exchange so we call it as a chloride shift okay so answer to this question will be chloride shift if clumping occurs in a given sample of blood with blood a and b serum the blood group a the blood group is so basically they are asking you have a sample of blood and we have a two serum a and b and the blood sample is being clotted by both a as well as b so so try to understand they are been uh um, clotted by the both of them a as well also b so that means the sample of the blood will be ab if it is only a then it is a if it is only b then it is the sample is b but that has been uh, this sample has been both clotted by the both a and b serum that means the answer to this question will be ab the transformation of cartilage into the bone the transformation of cartilage into the bone is called as is known as osteogenesis basically osteogenesis osteogenesis okay and uh, this osteogenesis also known as ossification so this is a process of transformation of cartilage into the bone estrogen is secreted by which of the following secretes the estrogen basically they are with the graafian follicle and uh, so developing graafian follicles uh, and secrete the estrogen to answer to this question will be theca internal cells of developing graafian follicles 
most contraceptic pills contains the contraceptic pills contains what you have to answer to this question basically contraceptic um, uh, pills contain the estrogen as well as the progesterone answer to this question will be option number d pituitary gland is under the control of you know that pituitary gland is called the master gland of the body and it's been situated in <coughs> Sorry, it's been situated under the control of hypothalamus. To answer to this question will be hypothalamus. Again, uh, I am remember I am giving uh, an important uh, thing that hypothalamus is a reason where the pituitary is. Now, second, this uh, uh, hypothalamus is responsible for the osmoregulatory. So, whenever you are studying a uh, particular answer, try to regulate the try to regulate your mind in such a way that you can correlate all the things whatever you have studied earlier or what you are now studying so you should correlate with one another okay so moving on to the 16th question the expulsion of milk from the breast during sucking by the child is brought about by though the expulsion of the milk from the breast during the sucking by the child is brought about by the prolactin prolactin is responsible for this okay so to this question will be option number c the hyperglycemia is a condition of malfunctioning of first you are try to understand what do you mean by uh, hyperglycemia hyperglycemia is a condition where the blood sugar level increases and that's a malfunctioning of basically the pancreas and islets of langerhans is responsible for that now you have to remember what is islets what is islets of langerhans okay this uh, they are basically uh, they are basically the cells which are responsible for the they are basically the reasons that are uh, that contains the endocrine cells and they are almost one to two percent of the total pancreas volume pura pancreas ke volume ke ek se do percent ka volume wo occupy karte so islets of langerhans hote and that has been discovered by uh, the a uh, german pathology uh, pathological anatomist who is known as a paul uh, langerhans okay paul langerhans in 1869 he had discovered this islets of cells uh, we call it say islands of langerhans these cells are known as islets of langerhans moving on to the 18th question which of the following hormones contains the iodine you all know that the iodine are is been there in the thyroxine so thyroxine is the name of the hormone Moving on to the 19th question, the scientist who first explained about the blood circulation, who uh, blood circulation, that's William Harvey. William Harvey is the name of the scientist who had discovered the blood circulation. Very, very important answer in many of the question, many of the exam they have asked this question. The radioactive isotopes used for, used for detection of the tumor. Which of the following isotopes has been used to detect the hormones, um, tumors? So, we have to uh, remember this is arsenic 74. Arsenic 74 is used for detecting of tumors. Okay. So, guys, this is end of our session. So, uh, if you have liked the session, uh, don't uh, uh, forget to hit the like button. As well as if you have not uh, subscribed this channel till now, do, uh, do subscribe this channel and uh, press the regular uh, press the bell icon for the regular notification thank you guys have a very nice day milte jaldi aap logo se dobara thank you guys